If you want to use Pro Mode in camera on Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, you can find it by going to More. And then over here we have two Pro Modes. The first one is for Photos and the second is for Videos. We're going to focus on the Photo Mode this time. And over here we can find a bunch of different options that can be adjusted. Um, these parameters can help you make a photo just as you wish it to be. So over here we have this panel with different parameters. We can tap on them in order to start adjusting them. So we have the ISO speed, the shutter speed, the exposure, focus, which can be set to center, multi and manual. And also we have the white balance. If you tap on this eye text on the left side, then you can see the description of each parameter and what it does. So this might be helpful if you uh, are not familiar with these uh, with these parameters. So if you use it for the first time, this is how we can um, this is how we can get to know them. Uh, besides that, we can adjust these parameters manually by using this slider over here, as you can see. And if you want to switch it to auto again, you can tap on this manual text. And this is how we can switch to auto. This is for every almost every parameter here, except for the exposure over here. This one is manual only. Besides that, we have different lenses, so we can set to ultra wide, wide telephoto and super telephoto. Besides that, we have some more options by tapping on this, on these four dots. And here we have some basic tools like the flashlight, the shutter delay, as well as the ratio and the megapixels, the amount of megapixels. Now over here by default we have only 12 and 50 megapixels. So if you wish to use 200 megapixels, I'm going to show you just in a second how to do that. We also have um, some more adjustments like the contrast, the highlights, shadows, uh, saturation, tint. So uh, we can find more adjustments here. Besides that, we also have the metering modes, as you can see over here, so we can switch to different metering modes. We have the center weight, weighted metering, we have the matrix metering, as well as spot metering, and we can also see the descriptions as an example use of these meterings. We have the exposure monitor where we can check the zebra pattern, as you can see over here. So if you care about the, um, if you care about the exposure, then we have some tools that we can use in order to preview the exposure and how it looks like. And besides that, let's go back to these options. Do we have something else here? No, I think this is all. But um, there's also an option to capture photos in the RAW, uh, in the RAW format. And it is not visible here by default, therefore we need to go to the settings. And here in the settings, if we go to advanced picture options, then here we can choose the permanent picture format where by default we are using JPEG format, but we can also enable both RAW and JPEG, as well as simple RAW format only. And that is essentially it in terms of the Pro Mode. So of course, lots of to learn in order to capture beautiful photos with the correct exposure and white balance and so on and so forth, but definitely worth trying out. And I also mentioned that the 200 megapixels camera is not available by default in the Pro Mode. And this is because we need to actually use the expert row, which is pretty similar to the pro mode. As you can see, uh, this is how it looks like. And we also have these parameters as before, plus some more. Um, so if you get used to the pro mode, maybe you can switch to the expert row. And in this example here, we can switch to also 200 megapixels camera. So if you're looking for the pro mode options and 200 megapixels camera, then you should use the expert row instead. And that is it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.